help. Um, ever since we, ever since my you know, staff got in the, the position, we've been uh, making efforts to uh, curb the curb the, the negative things on, on the South Shore. We've been going after our business owners. Um, uh, we have a lot of situations where what the businesses are doing are contributing to what we have in the streets. And I need all of you to work with me in my office to uh, to make sure we put, get a handle on that. We've already got four businesses throughout the war shut down and we're working on a couple of more. Legal at tolls. There's a lot of things in these businesses and these business owners are not doing what they're supposed to do and it speeds right out into the streets. So I'm going to continue to work hard on that. I was with the city today, with the city yesterday, with the lawyers, to make sure we have an opportunity to shut these businesses down. So when you see the loitering in front of these businesses, everyone, loitering, the, the, these business owners, they are inherent in their business license. They cannot allow loitering in front of their businesses. We have went to these businesses and said, all you have to do is say they're trespassing. They will not say it. So therefore, the police, our hands are tied. So it's up to us to make sure we continue to say something so we can shut these business down and stop this illegal activity. Are, we, are you guys with me on that? Yeah. Yes. You have to do it, all right? Uh, echo on a couple of uh, the sentiments. You know, what happened, and everybody knows that. This is the, what happened is not indicative of the pride of this neighborhood. It, it, you know, my father used to walk, we used to be, when I was little, walking through these streets. This, this was not like this when I was growing up. I've been 48 in a few months, I mean, a few weeks. This was not like this. People keep telling me we gotta take it back. It never should have left. Huh. We gotta stop looking they, for somebody they, else to come up in here and do something. You see something, say something. There's a, there's a process for that. There's a process for that. We can talk to CCHA and make them hold them accountable to hold other people accountable. Uh, no, and that's all the things I take care of in my office. Uh, to one of my initiatives, I wanted every block in the 7th Ward included in the block club. We've got over 80, close to 100 blocks in block clubs right now. My blocks that have block clubs, active block clubs, they have seen decreases in home break-ins, they have seen decreases in loitering, and people just parked in car, and all type of Indiana plates on there, on their uh, the cars on their block. We stop that. So that when we organize, we can get together and stop this craziness. Pulling up to the side of, uh, 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 of some of these businesses in these streets and sitting out there for a little while, and we don't say nothing. You gotta do something about that. Call the police, hold us accountable. If you don't, if you, look, if you're gonna if you're gonna talk about me not doing something, make me do it, and then when I don't do it, then talk about it. All right. Me. All right. All right. If, if, if we're gonna hold Doss, I'm gonna hold Commander Doss. I'm gonna hold Commander Sanchez. But you guys need to help us, help all of us. Don't sit back, you know, I didn't see nothing, or that's my boy. Your boy doing dirt! Right, right. Exactly. In your neighborhood. Exactly. Y'all have a baby's baby business. My mother's 78 dirt. years old. She's been walking up these streets since 1970. 1970, I wanted to keep walking, just like you want some of your grandmothers and mothers and the mothers that's yes. out here now to and keep on walking in these streets. Y'all yes. gotta make it safe for them. Say yes. something. That's right. I agree. Say I agree. something. Yes. And hold us accountable after you say something. But if you sitting in the window, well, I ain't say nothing. You know, because because the next door neighbor gonna say something. Don't do that. Right, right, then right. when this happens, oh, the alderman not doing nothing. Right, right, right. Y'all don't even have all this gray hair when I first started. <laughs> Put these bags under my eyes. I don't sleep because I'm trying to clean up this community. That was my vow to clean up this community. You ain't always gonna agree with what I'm doing. Or I don't talk to the neighborhood about some of these drug houses. They ain't coming back. We're ripping it up. They ain't coming back. That's what I'm talking about. And how they don't come back is because we, because the neighbors got together and they said we gotta get rid of them. Who got the stories like who gonna who gonna be the next people that's gonna say something? Tell on your boy. Your boy messing up your neighborhood. Tell on your girl. Your girl messing up your neighborhood. I'm not going to tell her I grew up with her. I had to tell my boys, don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. And today, they ain't made me choose. All right? I don't want to get all emotional out here, but this has been, this has been crazy for me. Forget the ultimate title. I'm a man. I'm a human being. So I don't want to see none of these kids get killed. To date, as an adult, I done lost 36 of my childhood friends to this garbage in these streets. 36 of them and another 17 in jail. 
that I still talk to. And they wish they hadn't have done that dumb stuff. They wish they can come out here and talk to, to the shorty. Don't do this dumb, crazy stuff anymore. But we out here, we need to tell them. We need to tell them. We grown folk out here, act grown. Don't stop calling. Don't think somebody else is gonna call. Don't think the police ain't gonna do, they gonna do something. They gotta do investigation. Unfortunately, illegal activity has a process. <laughs> so we gonna work the process to the best of our ability. I done talked to the superintendent. I done talked to the deputy patrol. I done talked to uh, both the commanders. I done talked to the mayor. We gonna do something of it and keep doing it. I'm talking like it just started today. It didn't. We been working up here. We have been working up here. And we gotta keep on doing it. Support the police. The police has 100% my support. Because I admire the job they do. The transparency has to be there. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's very important. You got okay. that, yes, ma'am. to make themselves yes, appropriate. That, yes, ma'am. Okay? Now, and we man. work on that. Brother, we, I, I, just, I just signed up with you. So good, I'm good. Right, you know, right, and I will right, say right, this, and I'll say thank you, bro. And I'll say this.